I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at the Ray Systems by Honeywell microarray unit, and we're going to be looking at oxygen sensors when they fail. So you can tell an O2 sensor has failed if it's gone down to zero or if it's well below the value it'll calibrate at. You know, sometimes you'll see them showing around 12% or so, or they'll show error on the sensor. Occasionally you'll see them shoot up high as well. And sometimes you'll just notice them bouncing around sporadically. So you'll want to watch out for any of those things. And it's pretty easy to take apart. There's a couple of screws in the back. I've already removed them here. So once you do, you just pull it apart like that. And your oxygen sensor is this one right here. Now, it's a little bit difficult to pull out of here. So you have to be pretty careful. Uh, but there's a little slot underneath over here. And if you take a wedge or a flathead, be gentle with it and you just kind of pop it in there and then you can pull it out. And occasionally it'll stick a little bit more. Just be careful with it. Make sure that you don't do anything that's going to harm the top of this filter. You can put it aside. Now this is actually a new O2 that we're just going to put in here now. We're just doing it for demonstration. But you would put your old one aside. Uh, record the serial number if you need to. And then to put the new one in, you want to make sure that this filter is facing upward. Make sure it's not going in this way. Uh, seeing some people jam these in here, you want to make sure you avoid that. And we try to just reduce, make sure you're not touching the top of this too much. So once we get it in, just, just slot it, push it down. And then you screw the unit back together. Now the most important thing, once you've installed the oxygen sensor, is to make sure that you give it time to stabilize. You want to give it about an hour once you've installed it. And what you're doing is you're giving the sensor time to get rid of the excess charge that it's built up while it's not inside of a monitor. What'll happen is while they're in the packaging, uh, they start to build up charge just as if they were little batteries. And then when you install it in the sensor, all that charge comes running through to your gas detector. And so it reads very high. And what'll happen is if you calibrate at that point, when you come back the next day, your sensor is going to be reading super low. You might think there's something wrong. You're going to have to go through and re-zero and calibrate it. So you want to make sure that it gets time to stabilize before you do that cal. And one hour is usually enough. And then afterwards, you want to turn the unit on, and you want to give it a good calibration, the cylinder of gas, make sure it's not expired. And we'll show you how to do that in another video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you had any questions during the process or if you need a sensor, uh, you can get, get it from us. Our website is www.idealcalibrations.com. And you can always give us a call at 734-956-0539. Thanks, have a great day, and stay safe out there.